Hi, this is Karen Slowinski. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do some video shorts. So I've had some questions recently about how to do some things. And one of the things is how to emboss the flap of an envelope. So I've done some videos where I've shown that I've embossed this with a dry embossing folder. So I've had some questions, I've answered that, but I thought it might be easier if I could just show it to you. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine here. And to do the embossing, this is a 3D embossing folder. Normally I would just use this base plate, which is number one, and then I would use my gray plate number four, and that's the sandwich I would use along with the embossing folder and whatever I was embossing. So you're gonna still use the same sandwich, but you're gonna do it a little bit differently. So you're gonna open this up and you're gonna insert just the flap. Uh, I guess I gotta get it open here. So we're gonna put the flap in. Now before I do that, normally when you're embossing, you're gonna put this fold in first. Um, in order to do just the flap, you have to put it in sideways. So it's not the ideal way on how to do it, but it's the way that you can get this flap. So when I do it like this, I get the flap and I put it in so that the edge of that flap, I'm gonna see, can you hold that up and see it? Um, it is right at that edge of the design. So the crease is a little bit in so that it's at the edge of where it's embossed. And then I'm gonna feed this through sideways. So this part's gonna get embossed, this part will not and it's gonna make a loud noise when it goes through, when it gets to this edge. So don't be shocked when this happens. So I'm gonna put my top plate on, all right? And then I am going to crank this through. It's gonna grip and then it's gonna get going. Ready, here comes the noise. Okay. And then, there you have just the flap that's embossed. So that is a quick little tip on how do you do an embossed flap. So ho hopefully you will catch other ones. I'm gonna just do them periodically. They're not gonna be done regularly like my other ones, but this is my new how to do series. It's just my quick video shorts. Thanks so much for watching.